Hey buddy, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ash, and today we're going to be filming a Get Ready With Me video. So I use Ultra Repair Oil Control Moisturizer by First Aid Beauty. It's actually really, really good. My skin is super, super sensitive. Um, it reacts to everything. We're just going to take it and we're just going to dot it all over our face. I am not a beauty guru by any means. I do watch some beauty gurus and my friends are all into makeup. So, um, I'm trying to get into it myself, and I'm trying to take care of my skin and do a good job of it, but honestly, I'm just not that good with makeup, uh, skincare routines, beauty, any of that stuff, but it's important to moisturize, it's important to protect your skin. And especially if you're going out in the summer heat and going out in the sun, I like to go in with concealer and uh, cover up any blemishes, any acne, uh, acne scars, anything really. I have very mixed skin. It can be very oily in a lot of places, but in certain places it's very dry as well. As you can see right now, um, I haven't broken out too much, but I do have an issue with dark circles like to dab on little uh, acne spots I have. I have an issue under my chin here. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of acne around my mouth, chin, uh, especially my jawline. I have PCOS and my hormones, look at that. My hormones are out of whack and I break out a lot. And I just have a bunch of annoying symptoms that come with that. And I have a lot of uh, acne scars from picking. Uh, I struggle with picking. And I used to use a brush, just a regular brush to just blend it out. And, you know, I just go in circles and blend it out. Try not to make things look too streaky or blotchy. But again, I am far from a professional. Um, I can't even use a beauty blender. They don't work for me. Um, I suck at using them, so I just don't, but I figure if I actually practice and really work on it, I can probably get good at makeup and using other tools, like a beauty blender. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm new to creating content and I'm not that good at it, so I just want to practice on making some practice videos and then actually get into being good at... Uh, you know, making eye contact, conversation with the camera, that's really hard for me. So, the concealer I use is from Maybelline, New York. It is called Fit Me Concealer, and it is in shade 10 um, Fair. It looks like this. Um, let's see. Sorry. Looks like this. I don't usually overextend my lips, but, you know. What can you do? Also, I have no idea why my mouth just did that, like as if I'm putting on mascara. Um, let's see, a little here, a little here, a little, and our little T-zone. E Good enough. Yeah, I watch um, a lot of beauty gurus, I watch a lot of channels. I'm not really big in the beauty community, like, um, I'm not heavily invested. I do like the products, I do like to watch different creators and see the cool things and concepts they come up with. I'm not that talented and I'm not that deeply, um, like I said, not that deeply invested in the community. So I typically just watch, like, whoever's mainstream or really popular. The community does have a lot of drama, but that is just with, like, uh, the main like mainstream people who are very very big up in the game I don't know I can't help but watch all the videos like I watched um I watched Spill Sesh, Tea Spill um my, my favorite people are actually um it's, it's when I see people in front of the camera like I'm not that good at being in front of the camera obviously but I like seeing people face to face and connecting with them so I like watching Dustin Daly, um, Nick Snyder, and Rich Lux. I know they're all friends. They're all queens of the South. Uh, so sorry for the makeup. 
Um, but I'm really invested in watching them. The, these three, I've been watching like all their videos lately. This is not going to be a drama channel, so please don't come here expecting any tea or any scoops or anything. Like, I don't know how to blur. This is not going well. Okay, so now that we have gotten rid of the acne and we've covered the dark circles, T-zone, done a little extra, we're going to go in with my foundation. So I have the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Foundation by Maybelline New York. So I actually picked up all three of these online and I just got them from Amazon. Okay, so now we're going to go in with our foundation. And yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's like Maggie and the Ferocious Beast. Yeah, it's quite a bit of excess. As you can see, it's still on my hand. I have no idea what to do with that. So, I don't want to waste it, I don't know. But I don't want to cake it on either. Um, I might just like rub it into my arm, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry for my rushing, my bad techniques, and my... Oh. Learn from me, learn from me. It's okay, we'll just do that. We are on a discount, baby. We are on clearance. Okay. So next, we're going to be going in with the Maybelline New York Fit Me. It's Loose Finishing Powder in shade 10 or Fair. Shake a little, just a little. Swirl that around in there and then just knock off the excess. And then I'm just gonna brush it along my skin. I also picked up Cabrow by Benefit. And it's a cream gel brow color with brush and I have it in shade, shade one. I've tried to get more of a cool tone so I don't just have vibrant orange eyebrows and then more of like a brown toned uh, hair. It's Cabrow by Benefit. You can see it there. At the top here, you just pull and your little brush comes out. You got your little brush here and then here we have the little actual cream gel. So you're just gonna do that. You can see it has some lines because I typically will just drag it across like that. got this really nice uh, Morphe palette. There we go. Look at that. A smudge. I told you I'm trash. This is the 18F Talk and Flirty Artistry Palette by Morphe. And I actually got it as a gift from my best friend. Here is the palette. Alright. This is from my friend Nick. Thank you, Nick. And I'm going to be going in with Here's my number, this nice purple color at the top. I might do like a little base of that, but see like that's too cool toned and that's too warm toned. We are going to dip into our friend here. Here's my number.
gonna go in with the Maybelline New York the falsies push-up angel so it looks like that it's a little purple tube typically I will wear three mascaras because I haven't found a good one I know this one is for falsies but it gets in very close to lash line so that's why I use this as my base mascara I use this one to pump it up and extend it and just plush it and then this one same thing the Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Boost Waterproof and Smudge Proof Mascara. I'm so sorry I'm so bad at this okay guys so that was my uh, little get ready with me video I just wanted to practice filming talking to the camera doing my makeup and honestly just having a good time so if you enjoyed this video feel free to uh, leave a like subscribe uh, comment anything you want down below that's it with this look um, that's just a simple little purple eye because I have to take some pictures uh, later so this is my quarantine project I'm gonna be working on this YouTube channel I'm gonna try and post every Thursday and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you back, you know? Feel free to subscribe and let me know what kind of content you wanna see. Bye.